This is Twit. The sort of problem that Process Maker is solving is this combined uh, technical and business problem. Uh, so it uses a language, it uses a visual way to design a process, and the process is going to have some sort of uh, element of an approval and forms. So we'll connect to systems, but generally also connect to people who are going to do some sort of validation step or approval step. So the, 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 the classic examples would be things like purchase requests uh, that may also then connect to an ERP or a credit request that may also then uh, later connect to a core banking system. Uh, or what we're finding more and more of are uh, data validation requests, so things like master data management type processes where people want to make a change to some sort of uh, business data set but don't want to do it in uh, directly in their ERP because they may not have the flexibility to do that. So it, it generally handles that workflow of approvals uh, in between systems and between people is how I describe it. And and these have been around for ages, actually, because, like I said, the University at Buffalo had purchased one, and I had to integrate it with a bunch of Perl code to tie into the processes we already had. Um, so has, has there been a lot of uh, open source activity in this area? Uh, there has been, um, and there's also been a lot of uh, a lot of standards work. So uh, flow charting, which is really the origins of, of business process management and workflow, and it's gone through a, a number of different name changes so whether it's workflow or business process management or digital transformation suites, which t seems to be the, the kind of uh, word that people are using today to describe these suites, they've been around for a while. I mean, we're, we're, they've been around for a, a long time. Uh, and in terms of open source, there have been and there are a number of other open source uh, projects. Each one has a pretty different feel. This is not a totally sort of commoditized space like, say, CRM. Uh, so you don't get uh, a very generally similar feel out of the other, out of each of the different open source projects. Okay, and so how did Process Maker come about? Are you the are you the original project leader? Uh, so I am the founder and the original sort of designer behind Process Maker. Uh, we started as uh, we started as a company doing something else, and then we began. We had a few projects where we were asked. Uh, to develop systems, the initial system we started developing was for a government uh, in Latin America, and it was described to us as a transparency system to sort of eliminate corruption, which was kind of kind of interesting. So that was our original approach uh, to what later became uh, or what evolved into the Process Maker open source project. Uh, it was actually designed to we were designing a system to manage paperwork for a government agency to increase transparency and reduce corruption. 